Jasmine, this match began and it ended in three points. Such a tough situation for Carolina. As a tennis player who knows how hard this sport is week in and week out, what words do you have for her? I think it's so sad. I hope she recovers really soon because it's bad, you know, to leave the court like this. And I don't know what to say because, you know, we didn't play a match. So it's, it's not good for tennis, you know, and I hope she recovers soon and well and hope to, to see her again on court. Yeah, I think we all feel the same. I'd love to talk about you for a second before you leave us and, and you'll have the rest of this day. But, but prior to this year, you had not made it past the second round at any slam. And this year, a finalist at Roland Garros, a finalist at Wimbledon, and now you're moving on to the third round here at the US Open. Has that started to sink in for you? Finally, we meet third round, <laughs> finally. <laughs> No, um, yeah, this year went a little bit different from the last years and I'm really happy and we put a lot of work together with my coach and my fitness coach, so finally it's paying off on court, you know, and, but yeah, I'm really happy and I'm happy to, to be in the third round for the first time, finally in the US Open. <laughs> Okay, so last summer in Cincinnati, which is the tournament before the US Open, you played qualifying, and now you're the number five seed. Does it give a little extra pressure, or is that a little extra swag? I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> no, it's crazy. I try to enjoy, you know, um, don't put too much pressure on myself. I think it's not good, but just enjoy the, the place where I am, the position where I am, I think it's, uh, as I say always, it's beautiful to play on this kind of stage in this stadium against top players and I'm really enjoying that. What, what, it's what I was dreaming, you know, as a kid and it's unbelievable. So I repeat to myself, just enjoy, smile and this is the best place for me where to be, you know. Okay, so there are four Italians in the second round here at the US Open for the first time since 2015. The men have had several very good years. Did you guys hear, you saw that, and you said we would like some headlines too? <laughs> we try, we try. <laughs> no, the guys are doing unbelievable, you know. Um, Italy is in a really good moment right now. Um, tennis, uh, it's getting more important, I think, in Italy. It's getting more popular, and that's, that's beautiful for us. So we keep enjoying, I think, and we keep pushing each other. Um, I think we're a beautiful, team, you know, um, so Forza Italia. <laughs> Forza Italia, exactly. And since we have a little bit of time here, I, I would love to ask you about your time off in New York. Obviously, you're playing doubles as well and incredible. You've got the gold medal somewhere around here. But what have you managed to enjoy in New York? We go always to an Italian restaurant, I have to say. <laughs> Do you have any good recommendations for us? Yes, yes, I have. Uh, usually we go like in Manhattan, walking from the hotel to Piccola Cucina. Um, it's a Sicilian one, really, really good. But I have to reserve a table, I think, for tonight because you guys are gonna go there. <laughs> and I'm not gonna find a table, so <laughs> I have to reserve as soon as possible now. <laughs> she, she's off to make her reservation, but the question I think that a lot of us want to know is where is the gold medal? You can just whisper it. It's a secret, guys. <laughs> no, it's with my parents. Uh, they are taking care of it. Um, you know, um, it's, I think uh, I'm really proud of it. It's something, it's an object, but it's so nice, <laughs> I have to say. And yeah, they're taking care of it. I, it was too, too dangerous to, to carry it with me because you, you may lose, you know. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not too organized <laughs> with the things. So I said it's better to live home with my parents. Yeah. That sounds good. And last thing for you, Jasmine. I think we've all experienced times where work is hard, maybe life is challenging, and sometimes it's hard to keep a smile on our face. You do that really, really well. So do you have any tips for us? Um, you know, there is, I think, also, you have also always to, to see the, the glass half full, we'd say in Italy, you know, uh, no half empty. Um, 
And I'm trying, you know, um, to, to repeat to myself, as I said before, that I'm in a good position. I'm doing what I love to do. And there's no reason to, to complain, to be sad, to, because I'm, I'm lucky, I think, you know. Um, that's what I repeat to myself when there are bad days, because there are bad days. It's, it, it's normal, you know, it's life. But just reminding always that I'm lucky. That, that's what I think, yeah. I think those are words to live by. We're going to send her off. Let's hear it one more time for Jasmine Paolini. Thanks, Jasmine. Yes.